Alrighty, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and in today's episode I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to unlock your observation hotkey. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to get to level 300. Now as you can see I'm a little bit over level but you need to be at 300 or higher. And then your second objective is that you need to defeat Shanks. Now the problem is how to unlock Shanks. Shanks actually has a really cool puzzle and then if you could figure out the puzzle you'll be able to defeat him or at least fight him. Alright, so to start the puzzle, you first need to visit the jungle island. And right now we're currently right where... Okay, get out of here. Right now we're currently right where the uh, Monkey King is at. I'm not really sure of his name. And you'll need to press five different buttons. This is not really the first one necessarily, but you'll need to press five different ones. I'm just going to do them in this order, but you don't really have to do them in this order. In this particular order, at least. It will be the first one. You'll find the second one right over here, and uh, okay, get out of here, please. Why can't I press it? Okay, there you go. So you just have to like kind of touch it, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, the second or the third one is I think over there. Let me see. Yeah, it should be over there. Uh, nope, right here. Okay, so I think I already pressed it by mistake, but the third one is right over here. And then the fourth one is, nope, not here. There, there is the fourth one. Now the first four, you can press them in any particular order, really. It doesn't really matter. However, the fifth one, which you will find right over here, this has to be the last one you press. You can, of course, press it like the third or the fourth, but it will not turn green. You will have to press this thing as the last button for it to turn green. Now, once you press all of them, what you need to do is you need to get down over here, right next to the boxes, and you'll notice there is an opening. Just get in that opening, and then this will happen. Land of sand, my home does tan, now dark and grim, bright light within. And so after reading this, actually you don't really have to read it, but you can touch this thing, and then it will give you a torch. And now you want to get out of here. Okay, this might be a little bit difficult to do actually if, if you find it difficult you can just kind of zoom out and just press r it will be easier uh and then after this now you're done with this island now once you got your torch you want to head to the sand island because that's pretty much where the puzzle will take you next now you can just go buy a uh, boat which by the way they all have the same speed except the free one this is like the slowest one but everything else is the same speed so you don't have to spend money to get the better one i guess but the sand island should be directly somewhere over there. I have light, so I'm just going to go fly over there. But you can obviously take a boat. And you will really, and just head on to the sand island. Oh, I guess it's over there. So it's like not directly, but like it's pretty close. You know what I mean? So that will be the sand island. You will just head over there from there. And you just want to take it all the way to the sand island over there. And that's where we will be using our torch and getting to the next puzzle. Okay, so once you have reached the desert or the sand island, you want to go over to this building right here. So avoid all this mess and all that. You want to go over to this building right here with the red door. You want to go through it and it'll say greetings. Now you can go this at any point, but you will not be able to um, put this door on fire, even if you had the flame fruit. The only way to do this is with a torch. Now you just want to kind of like hug it a little bit with your character. With the torch on, of course, and then the door will open. It will also say this. If power you seek, fill the cup from the leak. Left alone in the cold is a story to be told. So get the cup. And now we want to go to the ice island so that we can fill our cup. By the way, the ice island is right over there. So you can just take a boat and just go right over there. I have my light, so it'll be a little bit faster if I just use light. Alrighty, so we will obviously not go into this island. We will be avoiding this one. And then we will go over on the next one. That's the thing. That's the annoying thing with light is that I can't really do much. I can't really go on angles. I can only go straight. But yeah, this should be the ice island right over here. And then that's where we're going to be using our cup. So let's go over there. Yeah, so you would stop it right here. Go up right here. And then go through this door right here. This guy sells some stuff like the hockey and the uh, multiple jumps. But you don't need to do all that. See all the stuff that is coming off the glacier or whatever this thing is? You just kind of want to fill it up. Okay. Please. 
fill up a little bit of money. There you go. So you just want like one drop. You don't have to like get multiple. I just want to go over here next. Once you once your cup looks like this with water in it, you want to go over to some guy who is sick, which you will find right over here. A sick man. You want to help this guy by giving him some water. You say thank you so much. Please meet with my son. Okay, now where is your son? That is a real question. And you'll actually find his son in a pirate island for some reason. Not really sure why, but that's where he lives. And the pirate island, I believe, is oh, it's right there. So you want to purchase a boat, and you just go to the pirate island right over there. Of course, since I have lights, I can just go fast. Alright, so once you have reached the pirate island, you'll be able to talk to the rich man. Or rich boy, I guess. I'm not even sure. But he should be right over here. And he'll be here every time too. Yeah, his name is just rich man. So I'm going know. Once you're done talking to him, you want to head out right over there. And then you'll find the person who actually stole his stuff. I'm not sure, was it a relic? I don't know what he stole, but he stole something from him. And then he won it back. So we're gonna have to help him with that. You want to get your bow, you can turn it all the way around, and it should be... So this is where Bobby is. Then you want to go, like, right over here. Should be pretty simple, right? Hopefully. It's right next to the, um... Thing. Oh. Oh, thank God you're here. Okay, so you want to, obviously, fight this guy. And just kind of, you know... Obviously, it'd be probably better if you use your fruit. But since I have a lot of stats in <laughs> melee, I can just kind of kick his butt, literally. Alright, so once we've killed this guy, you want to head back to the rich man to give his stuff back. You can just dock your boat anywhere around here, really. And then just head on this way, you can attack this guy, but you don't have to. Just for, you know, to kind of tickle him a little bit. And then, you want to head to the rich man. Hello, buddy. We have retrieved your stuff. Yes, you are welcome. Alright, once you're done talking to this guy, he'll give you a relic. Now, this relic is really important. Because this is what you will need in order to get inside the place where Shanks is hiding. Alright, so once we're back to the jungle island, the island where it all began, you want to head out right over here. And as you can see in the distance, there's this little slot right here. And this slot will be the exact space where this thing will fit. Now keep in mind that if you use it, it will be there forever. And then you don't even have to use it. So if you don't use it and you go out to a new server, you'll still have this object right here. But to get to Shanks, you will have to place this thing right here and then the door will open. Now this door will stay open no matter what you do. Even if you hop in the servers, whatever, this door will always be here. And here's where Shank is hiding. Now let's just kick him out a little bit. You go a couple times. Now obviously you don't want to fight him like that. Or else, uh, yeah, it's probably not going to work out so well. Here you go. I'll just do this, do that. Okay, he's dead. He will always give you like 5k bounty. And I'm not sure if the saber is 100% drop chance, but I believe it is. Alright, so now that we have defeated Shanks, the last thing we want to do is to head over to the uh, Sky Island. But before that, what I usually like to do is to head over to, where is it? The Marine Island, I guess? Where is that at? It should be somewhere over there. Uh, I believe it's over there. And I'll pretty much tell you why in just a second. Yeah, so you don't want to go to this Marine Island. You want to go over to the next one, which is right over there. By the way, this island is also where Whitebeard spawns, and he'll be like right in this area, if you're interested. Now, the reason we're in this island is because I want to buy the cannon. Now, I'll tell you why in just a second. But let's head over to the Sky Island. Alright, so once you've reached the Sky Islands, you want to head over, I believe, to this one over there. So, let's go up. Over there. So, it's kind of, this can be a little bit difficult. But I kind of show you a little bit of an easier way. Obviously, if you can fly, it's a lot easier. You want to save your R, right? Your flash step. And then you want to just kind of go right here. See? That just kind of saved a lot of time. And then you want to just head over there now. And then from there, you can just keep going up. You can wait for your R if you find this area a little bit too difficult to get up there. I know it's a little bit annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, and now once you're here, 
you can just kind of go over to this island right here and then everything will be easy see now this is where if you want to go to the where is it where did it go you want to go over to these islands right here you'll have to go right here and then i don't know why but this sometimes glitches and it doesn't really let you go up there so what you want to do is you want to use your cannon right get in the middle use your cannon boom and then it works so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but for some reason every time i use the cannon it works you'll find Usopp right over there and he'll be the person that will sell you your observation hockey and then i believe it costs seven hundred fifty thousand. but let me check really quick i'll just go there much faster right <laughs> okay so we're gonna talk to Usopp. hello buddy oh uh, yes of course Thank you very much. Allow you to have a present for other players and whatnot. Okay, cool. Thank you. 750,000. Okay, cool. So now that we have observation hockey, we can actually press E or K for it to work. I'm not really sure what you got to press on iPad, but the other is now we have our observation hockey. Let me tell you that if your observation hockey is like maxed out, you could see people all the way from there. So like if there are people in this island you could actually see them and you could probably even see it much further i'm not even sure how far you could see but you could definitely see people from a really far distance like you could see exactly who's there you could see their names their hp their everything anyways have a good one and see you all later peace